Hello and welcome to my channel. When building your first quadcopter with the goal to have a simple low cost aerial platform for photo and video with advanced feature like rock solid position hold, RTH and mission capabilities, the first thought may come to your mind to build this a 450 size. I also did start it with the 450 size which I built around 4 years ago and it's extremely stable and reliable. But it's quite big and weighed around 1 kg and very difficult to transport. Whereas these 250 size is small, have less weight and can be transported in your backpack. The big advantage is flight time. Due to less weight, you will get longer flight time. I got around 14 minute flight time with this setup against 8 to 9 minutes in this. Using the same 3 cell 2200 mAh lithium polymer. APM is retired and last firmware build is V3.2.1 and it's very low cost. Other Ardu pilot capable mini flight controllers are very costly except mini APM 3.1 which was also discontinued and hard to find. There is a workaround to use those position hold and RTH features in mini quad using iNAB with latest F4 or F7 flight controller. I was also using this quad with F7 based HGLRC GUs, FC with BN880 GPS with all this FPV setup. But I felt Ardu Pilot is much more beginner friendly, reliable and satisfying when using those loiter, RTH and mission even with its older firmware. There is another option to run Ardu Pilot on Omnibus F4 which I already tried but with little success with this clone Omnibus board. So what I did, I took the same APM 2.8 which weighs 34 gram and took out the motherboard, de-pinned it and it came down to 13 gram. I have already installed motor ESC and calibrated each ESC individually. Please double check the direction of each motor rotation. I am using Resistor 1806 motor. You can also use 2204 like this. ESCs are Hobbyung X Rotor 10 Amp, Matek PDB. The receiver is Flysky FSI6B, which I also depinned and modified for battery voltage telemetry. You can also use this X6B, it's lightweight. Attached this plastic vibration damper plate for my action camera. And this setup does not have prop in view. All these hardwares are pretty low cost. So now let's set up the flight controller and complete the build. For the calibration of the accelerometer, I will put it in its case and connect it to the computer. Now before calibration, you need to check the level of the surface. It should be perfectly level and now connect it to the computer and launch the mission planner. Check the correct COM port and hit the connect. It will take some time. And okay, now it's connected. Now, uh, first time check the messages and uh, if it has the correct last firmware that is Arducopter v3.2.1 now go to the setup tab and uh, now check the frame type uh, then click the accelerometer calibration and start the calibration procedure now place the FC as per the instruction, its various sides. Okay. Then uh, after the procedure, calibrate also the level.
I am powering the APM from the output of this PDB. The 5 volt output of this PDB is directly connected to the output side of the APM. And uh, I also soldered some wires for receiver input with the female connectors and uh, also some 90 degree header for motor output. I am also using some uh, nylon standoffs on the default holes for the top plate mounting and also some rubber vibration dampers and uh, these four holes actually aligned with the holes provided for the FC. So now I will connect it and now the flight controller is attached I will attach the uh, receiver inputs I am using 5 channels the 5th channel is for the modes Now notice the motor layout 1, 2, 3, 4 and connect it accordingly. This is 1 and uh, then it is 2 3 and uh, likewise the fourth take the gps module i have removed the longer cable and uh, plugged some shorter wire Now I will uh, put some glue there to make it permanent. Now the problem is with the barometer and uh, we need to isolate it from the direct airflow. So we will use the foam and uh, also we need to uh, cover it. So. I will take this cover and uh, put it on top of this. We need to connect it to the PC for the rest of the calibration but before that we need to set up the radio and uh, go to the system. and go to the auxiliary switches to, so we need to activate these switches and uh, I'm using these three position switches uh, which is SWC so we need to switch it on default is off so we switch it on then save it then go to setup and uh, go to the auxiliary channels and the channel 5 uh, the default is the potentiometer BRA and we need to switch it to SWC so okay now mm, this is selected and save it now go to display and see all the channels are working accordingly So everything is working fine. So 
and now i can directly see the the battery voltage into my transmitter okay so let's connect it to the computer okay after hitting the calibrate radio move all the sticks to its extreme positions and also the switches and after that you complete the task and then go to the flight modes now for the flight modes you need to select the flight mode 1 flight mode 4 and flight mode 6 for this situation switch and i have selected stabilize loiter and rtl mode on this switch so complete it and then go to the fail safe option now i am only uh, selected this radio portion in case of any signal loss it will do a rtl and since i am not using any power module so this battery portion will not be activated and then this is all uh, so you need to set the accelerometer calibration compass calibration radio calibration flight modes and fail safe this parameter will serve the basic purpose let's go to the field and check how it flies and also some video footage thanks for watching if you like my content please do consider subscribing so i'm here at the field it's six o'clock in the morning and uh, I have connected my action camera with zip tie and finally using this Jimpan P2125 propeller and uh, I'm using this 850 mAh hour 3 cell for the testing today and uh, okay let's see how it flies now let's and, uh, let's I'm in lighter mode start the thing so let's RTL oh it's coming back And yes, it's landing. So let's get into the hover position again.